Alright, so welcome back to another build slash class video. Today we're looking at the Frost Moglin. Now this is a one of the uh, Frostfall exclusive classes. So if you want to grab this, you'll have to grab it now. Well, until Frostfall ends to actually get it and use it. Alright, so one thing I want to say really quick. Merry Christmas. I know today it's the 25th. Well, it's actually the 24th for me right now, but you know, this will be the tomorrow. Anyway, um, yeah, Merry Christmas. I hope you're all having a good day, good time of year. I understand that the this year has been kind of fucked up and I know that a lot of the country, this country in the UK, going down to like tier 4 lockdown and stuff in some places. So a lot of people currently visit the family for Christmas, which is a bit shit. And if any of you were in that situation, then I'm sorry to hear that, but you know, these things are done for our own protection and of our family so you know can't really complain too much anyway though uh, we're going to get into this video all right so to actually get this class we're going to want to go down to our first of all storybook go to chapter three either act five or act six i'm just going to go to six um and we have the armor shop here now we can buy the armor and we can also train the armor uh, to buy the armor we're going to need one sleigh bell and to train the armor we're going to need a total of 42 does seem like a hell of a lot so we're going to need 43 sleigh bells now I do have a link in the description to a guide on how to get sleigh bells fast well it's not really how to get sleigh bells fast it's just a guide to how to get the class so if you're interested you're going to want, want to watch that now what I will say really quick do this quest, you get them really quick from this one if you do it a certain way. So if you are interested in a really quick farming method, check out that video. Anyway, for the stats I'm doing on this class, now this is part of my level 75 let's play character. So I have 200 int, 50 endurance, 115 wisdom, all these resistances at the side here, my defenses, my offensive attacks stuff like that Alright, so for my gear now I am using the necrotic sword but I've got the platinum light staff shun over the top just to give it a better appearance I am also using my Casey for um, cloak but got this one showing over the top uh, I'll show you how to get all of these items in a sec um, I'm using my case weaver uh, helmet but got this one showing over the top it kind of fits the class pretty well and yeah that's it I'm going to show you how to get these now the helmet is very easy we we'll just go to the armor shop um, where we got our armor oh no wait it's not that it's the helm shop so just under where we get the armor we can buy loads of helmets and stuff so you know buying them all different levels uh, yeah it's pretty pretty easy so to get the staff uh, for the class that I'm using I'm gonna go to Act 4, um, Act 9, Chapter 4 I mean. We can get these by the way if you're curious. Like these light weapons. They look kinda cool, I guess, but the one I'm using we just get from um, Maya here. Uh, we have Platinum Lights, Knife, um, Staff. It just depends what class you are, like a warrior will use the sword. Stuff like that. Alright, so to get the cape, really easy. We just go to add, well, chapter 5. And then to the 2010 presents right here. I can buy a ton of, like, stuff. Uh, we got the cape. We can also buy a load of pets, which are nice. Cool. Um, help us, um, mingling cap. It makes noise. <laughs> and the grandma's ugly sweater. I don't see why you'd want that, but I guess it's just for fun. Alright, so for the skills of this class. Now, one thing I do want to say really quick. This class is kind of shit. It's got a couple of decent skills. And it does do damage. It can kill stuff, but it's not very good at bossing. And it doesn't do a lot of damage. But, you know, I'm only using it because it's Christmas y and part of the event. Anyway, fiery attack. That will always do fire damage. 
and um, it gives a pretty good damage over time actually for four turns so it's an okay ability not amazing but yeah um struggle overload very accurate it's already accurate strike so it I don't think it ever misses or it has a very high hit chance which is okay uh, we get Yule which is a multi attack big damage there because it critted uh, we have sweep the leg and stun I think this is quite a good stun ability I don't know I can't remember uh, yeah it's three turns it's a decent stun uh, you'll shoot your eye out kid I think that blinds the enemy a little bit yeah minus 50 to hit two turns so uh, minus 50% chance of actually hitting us which is nice uh, shield it's a shield uh, best of holiday spirit I just think that's a general attack it just does decent damage yeah it doesn't really do anything uh, normal attack that's fine we'll use it and then next we have um, ornament shatter shatter and um, ornament to lower defenses kaboom and if we look here uh, minus 200 to MPM. I don't know what this means. I, I used to, but I can't remember. I forgot. Either way, though, decent, I guess. And now this is one of the best attacks we got. The guarantee crit. It does nice damage. Um, gingerbread evasion. Now this skill is actually really good. Um, each hit it does heals about five percent of our HP. So, uh, this will probably end up fully healing us. Yeah. It's a pretty good attack, that. I like that one. And it does okay damage as well. Not amazing, but not terrible. Uh, reduces the cooldowns by 4. Got very weird animation in this. Very weird. But yeah. Reduced cooldowns, which is nice. It delivers shocking surprise. Now, um, one thing I've got to mention: there's going to be a link in the description to like a in-depth guide that shows you all the numbers. Now, this gift kind of does like a random effect to the enemy or to yourself. So, your damage increase. That is a really good one. We get a load of stuff like that. And uh, we have the multi-attack, another one. Which is nice because that means we can do unlimited multi attacks. Which is pretty good. Now, giving, this is probably our best attack. Uh, but this does a lot of damage. There you go. It would have done about 500, I assume. I think. Alright, so for the best, like, skill rotation. But well, it's not so much a rotation, you can't really repeat it. But one of the best way things to do against most enemies is just to go gift. Enemy bonus to hit. A bit random, but it like, um, you know, we can get like a good debuff on the enemy. It's like a good chance. Uh, giving. So I did about 400 damage. And then brick. Now, obviously, for a multi battle, we can go Yule. And then we can do a uh, missile to huh. then we can do Yule again and the missile to again. So we can basically repeat um, multi attacks, which is nice. Um, other good abilities we obviously get our three turn stun and our fire damage over time. Now, one thing you could do. If you're fighting like a boss, you could use, um, well, you could stun first. You could use this. Um, you could use, well, get, get your fire damage over time. Um, do your gift, then your giving, then your brick. Because that's just a nice bit of extra damage. 
Another good attack is this one, blind. You could use against a boss. So it can hit you very easily. And stuff like that. We I think this uh, shield ability is pretty good. I think it lasts for like a decent amount of time. Oh no, it's average. I thought it was like a three turn shield. Either way. Alright, so at the end of the day, I don't really recommend this class. It's a little bit poo. <laughs> But, um, you know, if you want to have a little bit of fun, have some Christmas cheer. <laughs> I guess you could use it for the Frostfall event. Either way, though, thank you for watching this. I hope it helped a little bit with this class. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.